all right what's up youtube welcome back to the channel and today i'm going to be showing you the post that went viral on my theme page i'm going to show you which one it is i'm going to show you how you can apply some of these principles as well to your own page uh, just from that analyzing this post. So let's get straight into it. So this is the post that went viral and it's the Kylie Jenner post posing with a cause and This is okay. First reason why it went viral is because of the timing Now what do I mean by this? Well at the time if we look at it, it was posted on February 24th 2019 and I found this post because it was on the explore page everywhere uh, people were reposting it and they were getting good results in it so i thought why not ride the wave and just hop on this bandwagon i'll post this and see what happens turns out it blew up my account so that's the first thing timing is super important and what i urge you to do is to look at uh things and trends that are blowing up right now and sort of ride that wave so if you're a theme page repost that content if it fits your niche repost it and then just spin it to your own, spin the captions to your own. And then if you are like actually creating the content yourself, you wanna take that the similar elements in that post and just sort of spin it in your own way so that you're not exactly copying them. So that's the first point, timing is crucial. And there's infinite ways to look for viral content. Like if you look on TikTok, Instagram Reels, use your imagination, just see what are people looking up right now and what's trending. Uh, so for example, right now, that Bernie Sanders picture of him sitting at the inauguration is blowing up as we speak. It's so funny. And maybe if you if you use that in your own way, maybe you can sort of blow up using that trend, uh, spin it in your own way or repost it or make it into a meme. Just use your imagination, ride that wave, take advantage of it. Second reason why it blew up is because of how engaging the actual picture is. Some people like Kylie Jenner, some people look up to her another half of people despise her and that's good for our account because it creates controversy and if we we can like sort of use this controversy to get our engagement up in the form of like comments people who like her will like this photo and then if we look in the actual post this is what my caption was i just said something about the post orange of course because everything's orange and then comment this is it comment below are you taking the Lamborghini or the G-Wagon? And then people are going to respond to that comment uh, saying Lamborghini, Lamborghini all day, G-Wagon, etc. So it's just finding ways to engage your audience into this picture. Now, another thing you need to keep in mind is does the post evoke some sort of emotion, regardless if it's positive or if it's negative? We're looking for emotion. We don't want anything flat when we're trying to post, if you know what I'm saying. So if your posts aren't going viral or they're not getting much engagement, you need to evoke some sort of emotion through it what ask yourself what emotion are you trying to get these people to react in is it happiness is it sadness is it anger even so just think about that when you're posting the final reason why this post did so well was because i was posting pretty like on niche content it's pretty on par content before this when this goes viral a lot of people will be coming to your page and then they're going to be scrolling down to see what kind of page you are and what kind of content you have because there's no point in having this post go viral if all my content was trash before that and then they didn't end up following for example key takeaway here is just like stay consistent because your time is going to come your time when your posts just go viral will blow will just blow up is going to come eventually but before that you need to be taking your content seriously now if we look of course they weren't getting enough likes before uh, compared to that post okay, so this post got 5233 likes and around uh, 58 comments and then if we look at the other posts before this we, they were only getting like 1000 likes 400 500 maybe the odd 3000 plays on this one also take your content seriously after even after you blow up just because that, that might give you another chance to get another viral post. And that might be another chance for any people who saw that first post to come back to your page and be like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna follow this page because I like the content he's putting out. So just to recap once more, the timing was good, ride the wave of the trends that are happening as you speak and just spin it in your own way. Second reason why it blew up, it was engaging, ask questions, respond to comments and make it 
some make it controversial if you're not afraid to go that route uh, and make sure it sparks emotions and then lastly take your content seriously before you blow up and after you blow up it's kind of like rappers who get uh, they get one good song on the charts and everyone's bumping it but after that they no one's like messing with their sound anymore you don't want to be that guy on instagram too same thing applies here so i hope you found this video informative now if you need help trying to go viral the thing that's going to make this a whole lot easier is if you get help from other people and from outside sources telling you how good your content honestly is and if that's what you're looking for you can join the instagram consulting club now basically this is a free group where we get like-minded content creators and young creatives all following the same sort of goal of trying to grow their account trying to go viral trying to get monetized so if that sounds interesting if you want like-minded people to critique your content go ahead and click the link in my bio to join this free group right now that's it for the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one